no, no, no. <sighs> okay. All right. I've complained a lot about a lot of computer stuff on my channel, and <laughs> there's no shortage of things to whine about in the computer world. But, oh, this takes the cake. Okay, I'll just get right to it. Let me show you a list. <laughs> Adept Linux users may know what this list is showing you. This is LSUSB. Woo! Let me show you an out of focus list. You'll notice here bus numbers one and two. Bus one, you can see there's a 2.0 root hub, and bus two is a 3.0 root hub. Now down here, you'll notice that there are USB ports. And those USB ports in question, well, neither of them have a super speed logo on them, but this, this is a relatively new computer. It's not brand new or anything, right? So you've seen the ports. You see that there's USB 3. It may not be USB 3 like, uh, you know, USB 3, uh, like what you expect, USB 3 everywhere, but maybe there's got to be at least one USB 3 port and one USB 2 port. That makes perfect sense, especially with a Windows 10 or later laptop, right? Well, see those two ports? You know these two ports? They're both USB 2! The computer came with USB 3 capability. It's literally built into the CPU in the computer. It's almost no cost to have USB 3 support. It's right there. The device even shows up in the list of devices. But guess what? There's no USB 3 port. None. Oh, what's over here? Surely you're wrong, Jody. Sh oh, you've, you've got to be wrong, Jody. What's over here? Oh, there's a... Um, what? There's a what? Oh my god, it has an optical drive and one of those security... Th but there's no USB 3. No USB 3 at all. What in the hell? Am I even looking at here? And I'm gonna type this command and I'm gonna see what's in the computer here. Ah, and this computer is a Lenovo bunch of numbers. But the BIOS date is 2017. A computer that is four or five years old with USB 3 built into the machine showing up to the operating system. No external ports! What? What? What?